In addition to being able to pass an entire array to a method, you could also have methods that return arrays. And a method can return a reference to an array, and the return type of the method must be declared as an array of the correct data type. Let's take a look at some examples of methods that return arrays. Let's create a method that returns an array of integers. Public static int square bracket get int array. And all I need to do is create an int array. Let's call it numbers and assign it to just some random integers. Just making these up. And, and then you need to return the name of the array, which is numbers or whatever you named it. And that is going to simply return the entire set of numbers, 1, 4, 5, 6, 8. And to test that out, what I could do is create another int array in my main method and call this a and assign it to get int array because get int array returns an array of integers which allows me to assign it to a which is an integer array and to verify it I could loop through and print all the elements of a for int i is 0 i is less than a dot length because we have no idea how big it is so use a dot length i plus plus then you can print out every element by typing system dot out dot print ln a at index i Look through it and there are all the elements of that array so I was able to capture them all here as another example let's make a method that returns an array of strings public static string square bracket get string array and this will return an array of strings. Let's create a string array. String colors blue, green, yellow, and red. And simply return colors. Now back up here, I could do the similar thing where I could create an array of strings. String B and assign that to get string array and loop through all the elements of B. So I'm just going to copy and paste this down here. Change A to B. Run the program and you could see that all the integers were printed out from the first for loop and in the second for loop I, I was able to grab all the colors from get string array, store them as an array, string array called B and then loop through each one and print out all the elements. So you could see it's fairly simple to return an entire array from a method.